So for this problem, we're going, we're going to look at a limit involving square roots. And if you put in 0 right now, it's pretty clear that you get 0 over 0, root 5 minus root 5 on top. And so it means that we have an indeterminate form. And so we need to do a little algebra. One way of doing this problem is to multiply the fraction that you have by the conjugate of the numerator divided by itself. Remember conjugate of an irrational number or a pair of irrational numbers means just write down those irrational numbers and change the sign. So for example, in this one, we have plus signs when we start out with minus signs. So when we multiply this, you could FOIL the top out, or once you get the hang of it, you notice that when you multiply conjugates, it's the first one squared minus the second one squared over, and notice I'm not multiplying out the bottom, because I know some cancellation needs to happen pretty soon, so I'm not going to go and actually expand that just yet. The plus 5 and minus 5 cancel out, so I'm left with x on the top. And now the x's also cancel out. Remember that you're left, we're left with a 1 in place of x, not a 0. So the limit is not actually 0, it's rather 1 over root x plus 5 plus root 5, and when x is equal to 0, this is 1 over 2 square root of 5. Just a quick recap, whenever you see a limit involving square roots, it's a good idea to multiply the top and bottom of your fraction, or if you don't have a bottom, just put a 1 underneath your square roots. It's a good idea to multiply your function by 1 in the form of the conjugate of your square root part over itself. And things will eventually cancel each other out and you'll get an answer.